everybody, Rebecca Louise and Alfie here and we have got an awesome workout. It's thigh workout for losing fat. So Alfie and I are going to take you through. So Alfie, I want you to sit there for me. That's it, sit down. Thank you very much. Good boy, stay there. So the first exercise we're going to do is a nice plie squat. So your legs are going to be wide and your feet are going to be turned out and you're going to tuck your hips underneath. And all you're going to do is plie up and down. So instead of your booty going back, it's actually going to go straight down. So you're just going to squeeze and as you come up to the top, you're going to squeeze those thighs, squeeze those glutes, and you're really going to feel it in those thighs. Okay, so down you go, Alfie. Good job. Squeeze it up and down. Ha, huh, like this. This why I feel like I've got my like, workout buddy. He doesn't really do too much working out, but still supports me along the way. Okay, so make sure you send this to one of your friends that maybe you want to do it with as well. It doesn't have to be your dog. Okay, so keep going. We're going to squeeze and up. Really think about it. As you come up to the top, you want to squeeze everything up. That's it. Just like Alfie. Squeezing everything down to the floor. Okay, up you come. Keep going. Just breathing in and out. That's it. You've got this, guys. We're just going to be warming up those legs, warming up those thighs. As you go down, sucking it up to the top and pulling everything in. Okay, let's hold it down here. Okay, and we're just going to lift up those legs. Okay, so we're just going to bring bringing up our heels and down. So you're still in that plie squat. Okay, your hips are still tucked underneath and you're still just raising those heels up off the floor. That's it. Keep it going. Give me a nice smile. Keep that core nice and tight. This is what's going to help. And you can really start to feel it in those thighs. Okay, so just put your hands here. Feel how tight and tense they are. Think what's going to happen when you just keep working towards that goal. So squeezing in and out. Breathe in. You got this, guys. You're going to feel incredible. Now hold it up here. Come a little bit lower for me and then squeeze. Tuck those hips underneath and then squeeze everything. Get a little bit lower for three, two, one, and then come up to the top. So let's go back down into those plie squats. It should feel slightly different now because we've been warming up those inner thigh muscles. Okay, we've been actually working, so things start to get a little bit tighter and we can actually feel that muscle soreness. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Next exercise, okay, your legs are going to be out to the side and we're just going to lift up. So we're going to not touch the floor, we're going to squeeze all the way and all the way up to the top. So you might want to put your arms out in front of you, okay, and just going to hold that balance. So really think about using that inside thigh just to lift up and down. You can point that toe and then squeeze. Okay, let's go over to the other leg, so just swaying across and up and down. You're also going to be able to feel it in those glutes as well. And that's a good thing. You just want to keep everything nice and tight and suck it up. Okay, so three, two, one. Next exercise, you're going to go out to the side. Okay, so you're going to squat. And as you come up, you're going to kick out to the side. Okay, so it's squat down and kick legs together. And your butt's going to go back this time. Squeeze together. Woo! Nice little bit, a little bit of cardio in here as well, just to get that heart rate up, burning some extra fat. Remember, cardio is going to help burn the fat. All exercise is going to contribute, but the biggest thing is going to be what you guys put inside your body. That is going to what's really going to change how you look and feel. And squeeze. Keep that leg out to the side. Doesn't have to be too high. You just want to get a little bit of power. In it. Okay, give me a bit more power. Kick that leg out. Three. Let's give me two more, kick it out, and then the last one, squeeze, and we're going to go on to the other side. Oh, excuse me, Alfie, he's just sunbathing. Don't worry, if your friends want to sunbathe while you're working out, no problem. Just know that you're going to be the one that gets the result, and they're going to be the one that gets the sunburn. Whew. Okay, so squeezing up and down, kick it out to the side. You don't have to go fast, just get that rhythm. So it's squat, bring the leg back in, kick to the side, back in, and squat back down. Just keep breathing in and out, guys. Really important that you are having electrolytes in your water when you're working out, because that's what's gonna replenish. Okay, you need something that's gonna replenish those muscles, it's gonna hydrate you. Because when you exercise, you're sweating, so you're losing all of those electrolytes, you're losing the hydration, and you just need to put something back into your system. Let's just give me a few more. Bend down. Oh, guys, I'm liking this. You're looking good. Three, two, 
and give me one more kick to the side. Brilliant, okay, shake out those legs. We're gonna come down to the ground, okay? Alfie is kind of in my way, but no problem. We're gonna go up into a side plank, okay? And you're gonna lift that top leg up, okay? So keep squeezing up and down, okay? So using that thigh, you're gonna feel it on that leg that's straight, okay? So the one that's on the bottom, you're gonna feel that inside thigh. Now if you need to, you can come down to your knees, okay? And you can do the same. Okay, you're gonna feel it more into your glute this way. If you really wanna feel it in those inside thighs, you can just hold it up here and then squeezing that top one. Okay, keep breathing in and out. Ah, oh, guys, you're looking incredible. Let's just keep it going for three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Now over to the other side. Same thing again. Alfie is doing a side plank, but a side plank flat, okay? So that's one way of doing it. You're not gonna get any results like this. Okay, and he doesn't even care. So squeezing up and down. And it's this thigh here, guys. This is where you're gonna feel it. And remember, if you need to at any time, you just drop that knee down and you lift up and down. Make sure that this arm isn't going too far back. You wanna keep it right here. You're gonna feel it more in those glutes. So if you wanna feel it in that inside thigh, you're gonna keep that leg nice and straight. And it's gonna be five, whoop, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Really start to fit it in those inside thighs and it's about to get a whole lot better because we're gonna go into some fire hydrants. Thank you, Alfie, for your, for your participation. So your hands underneath your shoulders and you're just gonna lift up and squeeze out to the side. And breathe in and out. Guys, you're supposed to get your heart rate up. You are supposed to feel out of breath and that's okay. Just make sure that you are replenishing yourself with the right nutrition. So keep squeezing and out. Guys, you're looking incredible. You can really feel it in those outside, outside thighs. Okay, now we're gonna do a kick out to the side. So it's a kick and in, kick and in. And you really are gonna feel it here. Okay, I want you to think about, okay, which muscles am I using? How is it gonna help me? What difference is it gonna make when I really keep everything nice and tight? Okay, let's just keep going for a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, over onto that other side. So lifting that knee up out to the side, keeping it at a nice 45 degree angle. Okay, you have, your legs are at 90 degrees and you're just gonna bring it out to the side. So keep squeezing in. We're just gonna warm up that inside thigh and ready to kick it out. So you're gonna kick it out on a diagonal and really feel it in that inside leg of the leg that's kicking out. So squeezing in and out. Guys, I'm feeling so good. You're gonna do incredible. Just think what your body is gonna look like when you keep pushing through. Woo! Squeeze in and out. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and give me one more. Squeeze out to the side and back down. Okay, over onto your side. Take a nice big breath in and we're gonna put that back leg, okay, this leg is gonna be bent, and this leg is gonna be the one that's gonna move up and down. So you're just gonna bring nice, small motion up and down. Okay, try and keep your hips on top of each other. It's only a very small motion because you're gonna really wanna feel it in this inside thigh here. So just put your hand here. Can you feel that muscle? Can you feel it like nice and tight? Good, doesn't that feel exciting when you know that your muscles are working? Because when your muscles are working, it means that something is about to change. Okay, so keep bringing that leg up and down. Now just hold it at the top for me and pulse. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now take it in circles. We're gonna go anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise first, so just keep rotating around. You're just using these hands here for a little bit of support. Try not to grab too much. And then let's take it clockwise. Woo! Again, put your hand on that muscle. Can you feel it working? It feels incredible when you can see stuff actually burning. And make sure you do hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca so that we guys can give you a high five on social media. And squeeze for three, two, one. Over onto the other side, same again. So that front leg is nice and straight. Okay, your arm is underneath your shoulder. And we're just gonna bend that back leg and we're gonna lift up and down. Point that foot for me as well. And give me like a little smile just to pretend at least that you're enjoying it. 
Because remember, everything is in your mindset. If you just believe in something's going to happen and you just keep working towards that goal, it's not going to happen overnight, but I promise you it's definitely going to happen. Okay, so bringing that leg up and down. Again, just touching that leg muscle. It feels so good when you know it's working. And we are almost through this exercise, guys. So hold it at the top and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then rotate in circles. Okay, round we go. We're going anti-clockwise. We're going clockwise this way. Even if you want to go anti-clockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter. Just as long as I say when switch, you go around the other way. Oh my goodness, I feel incredible. Those legs are burning. Three, two, one, let's go forward. And then we've just got one more exercise to go. So no rest. I want you to push all the way through to the end. We're just gonna do a few more circles and then I want you to jump up onto your feet. So are you ready? Three, two, one, jump on that feet. And we're gonna do some skater hops just to finish, okay? So we're just gonna go out to the side and it's like a little jump. I want you to bend nice and low. So we're just gonna finish with 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, shake those legs out, give your thighs a clap and say, woohoo, I completed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got so more many exercises coming for you. We've got everything at RA Healthy. We have motivation, we have nutrition tips, and we have the exercise. We've got you covered to live a healthy, active lifestyle. My name's Rebecca Louise, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Alfie! Bananas! Chicken! Chicken! <gasps> What's this? Oh my goodness! Breakfast! Come here! Come here!